Hi there, Virgo. How are you? We're going to get started on your love reading for the month of June. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's get started, shall we? I'm going to use the Tarot of Mystical Moments for you, Virgo. Let's take a look at what is happening, what's going on with you this time around. My dear Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Virgo. Let's see what we have for you this time around my dear Virgo Sun Moon Rising and Venus all right we have the justice card and then we have the five of cups for those of you that I'm connecting with there is a strong need for you to bring more balance into your life I feel like that is what's really going to bring you relief at this time I feel like there is um, a lot of heartache a lot of pain it is that you're holding within yourself in your heart chakra and a lot of uh, energies we could say that um, are they need processing justice and five of cups I feel like for those of you that I'm connecting with there is a conscious choice decision here that needs to be made to um, do this okay with the justice card and the five of cups and with the three of swords okay let me just breathe just a, a little bit um, as I process these energies so I uh, guys these are the types of energies guys that um, I, I feel them very sat they're very saturated they feel very stuck um, um that's kind of, i feel like that's kind of like the feeling that earth signs have going on because i just got done with taurus and they they feel like that as well um and you know every and every element is different and um with earth signs i do notice that when things are like um certain like energies with um earth signs you i feel them very strongly um and very heavy on my body it's just that like earth energy for example with like um air signs it it, it turns into like when there's a lot of like pent up uh, unprocessed emotions i notice it mainly like m mentally affect like my third and my crown chakra and with uh earth signs like I feel it like on I feel it on my body so yeah guys I feel like for those of you that I'm connecting with um I feel like this month of June you are definitely are going to be bringing more balance into your life in the form of uh, processing and releasing and letting go and making peace with a uh, certain feelings and emotions and experiences it is that you had perhaps with a particular individual absolutely with the three of swords in which um was was very painful okay with the five of cups i feel like this is a situation in which it's not um it's it's not I don't want to say it's not wise, but it's no longer necessary, okay? It's no longer necessary to hold on to certain things. I'm hearing there is a certain responsibility it is that you have, I'm hearing to yourself or to this entire situation to release and let go. I'm hearing of any pain, regardless of what it is that happened here. For many of you, you need to forgive someone, okay? maybe for sure it's difficult to 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 forgive um start uh, doing heart chakra meditations uh, guided meditations that specifically walk you through the process of forgiveness um this is something that you you know these are energies that you um have to process you know uh, continuously that are not going to just you know be you know let go and released overnight um i feel like this is the perfect time for you to begin i'm hearing the process of forgiving and letting go there is no need for you to sit and process or you know to sit in in any uh emotions i feel like for those of you that i'm connecting with i feel like 
you've already done that okay and that's part of the healing process guys having to sit in some emotions so that you can process them understand them and just kind of feel them okay that's like part of like the human experience to feel i feel like for those of you that i'm connecting with you've done that already and now you find yourself at the point where you're continuing to sit in these things where it's like it's time for you to start releasing for many of you i feel like this process of releasing is very difficult uh not because you don't want to you you want to continue feeling this way but because it's difficult for you to forgive with this three of swords so you're holding on to pain in in that way so there's a need here to uh forgive someone uh, whether that be yourself someone else and to um and to move forward with more love in your heart. That is like the overall message. I do see a masculine energy here in the Three of Swords that um, is uh, experiencing a lot of difficult emotions themselves. I feel like they are, um, I, I do feel like they're sad and they're experiencing some, you know, an emotional difficulties at this time. We have the Queen of Pentacles. For many of you, this is uh, you, my dear uh, Virgo. I do see you, Virgo, as being someone who is able to bring healing to this entire situation. Here with this, the le the scales, uh, there could be a Libra. I think about like a relationship or, you know, two, two, two uh, people. I feel like this is a situation, my dear uh, Virgo, in which uh, healing uh, can uh, be um, provided and... Um, I feel like you 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 can you can heal this entire situation and move it and, and bring it to a better place. I feel like you have that power with within you. And again, that there, that power is that justice in this five of cups. Which for many of you I feel like it's leaving leaving behind any pain and the way that that is going to be accomplished for many of you i feel like it's uh letting go of any hard uh feelings again this doesn't happen overnight but i feel like for those of you that i'm connecting with if you start the process of doing that uh now i feel like uh throughout the month of june and by the time we get to july i feel like emotionally you're going to be in a much better place so i highly recommend um any sort of guided meditation guys that is walking you through like um is walking you through the process of of forgiving so like during these meditations there's one really good one in uh that steve noble uh has steve noble's youtube channel guys i highly recommend it he has uh, a lot of guided meditations that i've been doing for many years and um they're pretty much the only like 90% of the meditations that I do are Steve Noble meditations and a lot of them I repeat them and uh, they have really helped me. Well, there is one that he has on there. Um, he has a lot. So maybe like uh, like emotional healing is one of them. Um, you could also do like the cutting cords, forgiving. I'm not really sure of the names of them, but you'll get a clue as to what they do by their by their title. Um, so like the type of meditations that you should be doing, for example, are the kinds that, uh, walk you through like, uh, talking, for example, like some of these, like the one, the Steve Noble meditation that I'm telling you about, um, during the meditation, Steve Noble's like, think about this person, bring that person forward, the one that, you know, you have hard feelings for. And sometimes guys, most of the time during these meditations, a lot of people that you are not even thinking about will show up and you're like, wow. And that is a sign to you that there is some letting go there that needs to uh, be released. Um, so doing like those types of uh, meditation and um, exercises guys where you are for example have visualizing that person in front of you and you're talking to them 
well, I forgive you for this, I forgive you for that, as well as expressing how it is that you feel, you made me feel this way and this, this, that, and this, and just kind of processing all of that. That is you actively forgiving, you know, and letting go, letting go. Breathing into your heart as well. Um, also detecting where it is that you're holding the, this energy. For those of you that I'm connecting with, I'm feeling it very strongly in my heart chakra, okay? And I'm even feel it, feeling it like on my shoulders and on my mid upper back. Um, so what's going to uh, help you uh, is breathing exercises, targeted breathing. Um, I like to say that um, with, with these, uh, with difficult emotions that we find it difficult to release and let go, um, is oftentimes is because they're stuck and our body needs a little bit, of, a little push, a little help, a little, a little assistance in helping, you know, uh, us do that. And that's because those energies are very much stuck. So you're having to kind of make space and stretch. Um, highly recommend uh, like stretching and then breathing into certain areas where you feel like tightness. Breathing exercises are really going to help you do that as well as yoga. Integrating these types of spiritual practices into your daily life, guys. If you know you're you're really, that's really what is needed here with this justice card. I feel like that overall is going to put you in, in an energetic space where you want to be. I feel like um, it may be difficult for you to believe or think right now that you can forgive or get, get over this or change the way that you feel, but you absolutely can. And I actually see that uh, happening here with the six of pentacles. I even see some sort of could be a uh, reconciliation here with this queen of pentacles and the six of cups or just, you know, friendship, um, being restored, um, heart feelings disappearing, and uh, looking at another through a different perspective than the one it is that you have now, which is that of heartache. This is a situation which can absolutely be healed, but I do feel like forgiveness needs to be granted, guys. Um, I feel like this is very difficult with the devil to know that these feelings and these emotions are holding you back. They are restricting you. They are limiting you and they are energetically um, draining you as well as keeping you stuck in a specific emotional mental state that is very draining and is very negative. For many of you, you're ready to make this change. And um, again, I feel like through this release, um, you are able to bring healing both to yourself and another person. And as a result with the Six of uh, Pentacles, I feel like this is going to be uh, incredibly, incredibly rewarding, especially um, in the way that it's going to influence a particular relationship it, it is that you have with, with another beautiful energy guys let's see and look at that here on the teapot there is a scale do you see that there's scales there maybe some of you like drinking tea that could be a thing all right let's put this up there could be a taurus this is the hair font let's see i feel like this is a uh, circumstances you know all of this that i'm advising you obviously is going to require your commitment let's see my dear virgo how is this going to be developing and in, in moving forward virgo sun moon rising venus how is this going to be developing and moving forward future developments all right we have the ace of pentacles and then the first card that came out is the five of cups which we were just you know um talking about a little while ago here it is again and then we have the ace of pentacles i feel like this is something that you guys are going to be warming up to notice that this is future developments guys and here we have the ace of pentacles and we have a young woman that is sitting there at a cliff and she's kind of like we could say kind of like in a vulnerable spot but not really right this is a cliff and she's um there is a plant there that is that is growing and she's kind of like reaching for it and she like wants to touch it but there is a certain level of kind of like reservation of thoughtfulness of willingness there kind of reminds me of like the fool 
because the fool is like walking towards a, only the fool doesn't know he's walking towards a cliff this person is very conscious and aware of being on that cliff in fact i feel like they themselves put themselves there and it's like they could uh it's not that they're ready to jump right but i think it's symbolic here of like a willingness we could say ace of pentacles I'm hearing to grow. There's a willingness here to grow from this experience. So based on the circumstances that we have going on, my dear Virgo, the best thing it is that you can do from this is to choose to grow from this experience. I feel like for many of you, what you're being taught is, you know, uh, forgiveness, guys. The five of cups. Notice that uh, she's holding a, a stick here, right? and it has two flowers. So these flowers here are representative of kind of like the cups, right? There's like three cups here, three flowers, and there's two cups there. And this five of cups always reminds me of like the two of cups because there's always two cups that are always remaining. So this is a situation, guys, in, in which there's still so much, there's still something that you can take from this that is incredibly positive, but you have to be willing to look for it and find it and accept it, okay? with this five of cups and this ace of pentacles so that is what i'm seeing guys i'm seeing this willingness okay to um there's a willingness here to to release and let go and i'm i'm getting to to forgive and to learn from this entire experience okay let's see beautiful energy I feel like for those of you that I'm connecting with, you could have your back towards a particular individual. We see it here with this five of cups. We kind of see it here as well, you know, if you're like behind her. <laughs> All right, here we have the nine of cups and we have the seven of cups, guys. I feel like for those of you that I'm connecting with, you have absolutely no idea how incredibly rewarding and great this is this is going to end up i'm hearing the moment it is that you are willing okay to take this opportunity for growth here with this ace of pentacles to learn from this painful experience okay and for many of you one of the lessons is this is teaching you is to release and let go and forgive okay With the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Cups, guys, uh, again, guys, I feel like this is something incredibly uh, wonderful for you. I feel like this particular experience situation it is that we have here is really going to bring you, gift you, give you something it is that you find very valuable. And with the Seven of Cups, I don't feel like you even know exactly what that is yet. Absolutely not. Not with the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Let's get one more card. Here we have the chariot. And the chariot is a snail. I love that. The chariot is a snail. So like slow and steady, right? Slow and steady. But the chariot is not necessarily slow and steady. It, it's, it goes by very quickly, especially when you are, there's a strong, when there is, when and if there is a strong sense of determination and focus. So here with this um, chariot here um, being represented with the with the slug, I, I feel like the message is uh, slow, slow and steady. I feel like this has overall been like your approach to this uh, healing journey, this situation it is that we have here. It's been like slow and, and steady. Um, I feel like you can expect to be um, headed, you know, absolutely in the right direction. It's not that you have not been headed in the right direction, but I do feel like these emotions that you, you know, this five of cups here that we have has been, you know, slowing you down. Absolutely. But everybody's different, you know everybody's different slow and steady definitely oftentimes does win the race absolutely with the chariot there's a strong need for you to focus to redirect your energy i'm hearing away from the pain and start actively every day finding solutions here to this issue and problem that you have which is really af affecting you uh dragging you down and slowing you down in, in life guys and again 
How can you do it? Just integrating spiritual practices into your everyday life. Okay, if you really want things to really move forward quickly, guys, you're going to do this every day. And again, it's because your body needs a little extra push to, you know, help you release these things. Um, yeah, that's the, maybe there's a cancer of significance, guys. Slow and steady wins the race, guys. That is something that you should know. You are making steady progress here. That is very important. Something it is that you should know. Something it is that you should recognize. That no matter how slow there has been progress made here, nonetheless, and knowing as well that as you move forward, there will be continuous progress that is going to be taking place, not discouraging yourself or putting yourself down when, you know, you might, you know, fall back to old feelings. I mean, it's completely normal. That's the whole thing of processing these energies is that they will go in and come back. Uh, with the nine of cups and the seven of cups, I feel like towards the end of June, entering July and even in moving forward, I feel like um, you can expect a lot of very positive changes to be happening. I feel like you can expect your mood to improve. What's really standing out with the nine of cups is this woman's head. So, you know, it's like this uh, abundance of positive energy and as well as of growth. Uh, I feel like you can expect a, a lot of uh, a lot of growth absolutely to take place, guys, and and growth that you can't even fathom at, at this time with the seven of uh, cups. I feel like this is really going to um, allow you to see a different perspective is going to allow you to have, uh, to see, um, I'm hearing um, certain things around you that you have not been able fully to embrace or, or yet. Let's see. That's what you can expect for future energy, guys. Let's see. We have the eight of wands. Wow. That's like the push. That, that's the push that I've been telling you that you need. I feel like for those of you that I'm connecting with, you're very close here to closing a, a, a cycle in your life. And that one that you have felt perhaps has just taken forever. I mean, what, whatever it is that you have been doing, guys, has been making you go slow. And we've already gone over what that is. You're absolutely, I'm, I'm hearing, ready to let this go and to embrace. I'm hearing this new beginning in your life, guys, this new chapter, just this card. You're absolutely ready for that. I'm hearing you're absolutely ready to spread your wings and to fly away. There's been a lot of limitations and a lot of restrictions. I feel that you have unknowingly, you know, kind of put yourself through. I mean, but everything is a learning lesson, you know, learning from all of this. I do see you doing that. And in fact, I see you being rewarded here with this nine of cups and the seven of uh, cups with immense growth. I do feel like a wish and love is going to be fulfilled. And I feel like one of those things is being able to leave this entire uh, situation, the pain uh, that you felt uh, come with it. Just this ch chapter, you're going to leave it all behind. You're ready to leave this behind. Virgo, I know you are. I'm here and accept the, the, the opportunity before you of growth. That, it, that is right here at your disposal. I'm hearing reach for it. You're ready to grow. You're ready to release. I'm hearing for many of you, you're ready to find love. Absolutely. For many of you, that love is uh, already right there in front of you. You're just having to forgive. I feel like you've been blocking yourself, limiting yourself. Absolutely. But all of that is damn near over, guys. Absolutely, the Eight of Wands you just needed. Uh, for those of you that I'm connecting with, you, this reading is really all you needed, perhaps, to kind of validate and to give you that extra push. Beautiful energy. There could be an Aquarius, a Libra, a Cancer of significance for many of you. I do see a new relationship here as well, sprouting, guys. Let me get one more card for this world card. This is the Ace of Wands connected to this world card. 
And then here we have a flower that is sprouting out of this uh, book. Ace of Wands. Okay, what am I getting from this? Let me take a, let me take this in and let me put all of these cards back in so that I can just look at these two. I'm hearing that for many of you this is like a this this is um I'm hearing this is a, a love story for many of you that is going to that you're going to open up and which is going to be unfolding. This is this new beginning, guys. This world card and this ace of wands. A love story, absolutely. A, a love story, a new chapter. I'm hearing this is a new chapter in life and love that you are, you yourself opening, opening yourself up to and uh, bringing into your life. I'm hearing for many of you, if you can imagine it, okay, it can be real. The ace of wands and then this world card so overall i feel like the message here is that guys i feel like this is new love that is actively sprouting and that you are at this time inviting into your life and which you are opening yourself up to wow the world card and then the ace of wands let's get an oracle card for you so let's get one from here and then i want to get another two from this deck here is called the butterfly effect and then i want to get another card from the secret confessions oracle to get a message from you know uh your significant other or you know particular person that is connected to this to this reading so let's see my dear virgo let's get this one it says flamingo Give yourself permission to find your own way to live. If you do not feel like you can be your authentic self, check what influences you have allowed into your mind and your life. Do you need to change your spiritual diet in some way so that you are taking in more physical, emotional, and or mental nourishment? Don't be afraid to show your true colors. When you allow the real you to be seen, others will be able to recognize your beauty and grace. Don't hide yourself or deny yourself what you need to flourish, including a wild and free heart. Guys, I mean, there's just so many things here that stand out to me. Do you need uh, to change your spiritual diet in some way so that you are taking more physical, emotional, or mental nourishment? You know, that talks about all those little, you know, practices and changes that I'm telling you that you're kind of having to do. That little, that little, that little push there. And don't hide yourself or deny yourself what you need to flourish, like that word flourish, which I think I used maybe a couple of times in your reading to symbolize that growth, you know, flourish, that growth that you're that you're making, including a wild and free heart, which, you know, just represents like the like uh, healing as well as like liberation, releasing and letting go, you know, of those energies there that, you know, we spoke of. Let's get a card uh, from the Butterfly Effect uh, Oracle deck. Let's see, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in the sign of Virgo. Let's see what we have for you. Let's get this one here. This is Clarity. The truth is about to be revealed to you, which will allow you to feel more at ease with the past events that remain unanswered until now. And suddenly it will all make sense. Clarity. Now let's get a message from the Secret Confessions Oracle. Now this message for many of you is going to be directly linked to the person that, you know, came out here that's connected to this love reading. And it's also going to... Um, you are also able to kind of decode whatever message we have to here to give you even more insight into the present circumstances. So let's see if we could do that. Let's get this one. Virgo, it says, one of my most favorite things in this world is how you look at me with love in your eyes. Your love has made me realize that everything happens for a reason and I am grateful for you. I won't always know how to say that though. You make me feel adored. This is what I have for you, my dear Virgo. Thank you so much for allowing me to do this reading for you. As always, truly, it was an honor and my pleasure. You guys take care, okay? Bye-bye.